Hey guys, today I'm gonna talk about a few cards. I know that you guys don't want to just see one video. One card I would be talking about is Voice of Resurgence. Uh, this is the foil version. Uh, green and a white. Uh, one of the reasons I love Dragon Maze so much is because it was the first time you had one card worth more than like every other card in the set combined. Like I'm not kidding. I think it is still worth more than every other card in the set combined. And I felt that kind of appealing. I opened a lot of um, sports cards and normally that's what happens in sports cards is you have one card worth a lot of money and then the other nine cards are worth like no money. And so when I, I heard about Dragon Maze being that way, I felt like, hey, whatever. So Voice of Resurgence, a green, a white uh, creature elemental. Uh, whenever an opponent casts a spell during your turn or when Voice of Resurgence dies, put a green and white elemental creature token onto the battlefield with this creature's power and toughness are each equal to the number of creatures you control. So maybe the foil version is not the best to show on camera, but it is from Dragon Maze. It is a mythic and it is now very expensive. I've always been a fan of Voice um, ever since it came out in pre-order. Uh, I ordered him for like twelve fifty, and that was one of my best speculations at that time and still one of my best speculations today. I really didn't trade them away. Uh, even after rotation, I just started collecting more of them. So voice, these video, this video in particular will be about the hindsight. So I know, hey, this is not helping me make money, which you shouldn't look. But I had a ton of fun specking on these particular cards. Another card I specced pretty hard on was uh, Princess Malera. As you guys know, Malera is the one of my five princesses, and they've all done really well, except for number one, which is five. I mean, you you have to like imagine that the princesses, these cards that I've pretty much purchased a ton of, Falia is the worst version of her, worst, worst version of them, and C doubled in price, right? And that's crazy. Because you could get her for like under two dollars, which I again a lot of people think, oh, that's not true. But then I have TCG player, and I ordered all of them off TCG player, and they tell me what price I ordered them at. Um, Malera, I ordered for mostly under a dollar or like a dollar twenty-five. Very good against the very good for the combo deck. Now I believe I'm just gonna put it up this as my opinion. She has the best combo right now in modern, and the combo is Malera Pod esque. But instead of using Pod, you're going to use Coco, and you're going to use... Um, so it's the Malera Pod, but with more Maleras, because you don't have Pod to go tutor them out as nice. Uh, with Coco instead, and you still have the, the one that tutors using Convoke, the Triple Green X and Convokes. I forget what that card is. Chord of Calling, that's what to call. That is what it is called. Lots of C's in that one. But Malera Pod, I think it's gonna make a comeback because people love combo decks and Malera is, I mean, C is probably the best combo choice right now. Also very good against Poison, so that's an added bonus. And the last card I'm gonna talk about, which is actually the card that spiked the most in my opinion, and is a card that like you would have never assumed would get to over $10, which it is right now. Stony Silence. Stony Silence is a sideboard card, very good. I mean, I always felt Rest in Peace would do better than this card, but it did not. So, I'll, and I'll be quite honest with you, these speculations are more of a, a numbers game where if you buy X amount of different cards, some of them will go up, like a lot. So modern cards in general, and I'll tell you what to buy later in the next video, or what I would buy, or what I'm personally buying, this card was like 50 cents, maybe less, maybe 25 cents. I used to see them on draft tables all the time when people would just leave them. And now it is over $10. This card is as much as a shock land. A shock land. And it used to be when I opened the uh, Innistrad Boost Packs, this is the one card I did not want to see. It's over 10 bucks now. Yeah, so... Prices change extremely fast, especially in modern, and get ready for more prices to change. Get ready for more spikes. Get ready for just cards that you didn't know existing becoming extremely expensive, because that's what's going to happen. And I'm going to prepare you for that in the next video.
Bye, guys.